the DEA has vowed to take down Russian arms dealer Victor Boot, whose weapons have killed tens of thousands around the world. Running the day-to-day -day strategic operations of the agency is Special Agent Louis Milioni. He is a phenomenal criminal investigator. These guys are routinely involved in the creme de la creme of criminal investigations. Milioni figures there's only one way to get boot behind bars for good. The investigative scheme was to get him out of Russia get him on the soil of a third country that would agree to extradite him to the, uh, the United States. To do that, they're going to need to set a trap so irresistible that Boot walks himself straight into it. Fortunately for law enforcement, the bad guys are motivated and driven by one thing, greed. The agents calculate it will take a $20 million deal on the table to get the arms dealer's attention. But what they need first for this elaborate sting is a good cover. A terror group that Boot won't suspect. And they settle on the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, also known as FARC. These paramilitary guerrillas have been engaged in a fierce battle with American pilots and agents, fighting the war on drugs in Colombia. Fueling the brutal violence are large shipments of illegal weapons bought from arms dealers with drug money. What would appeal to a guy like Victor Boot? No doubt he was familiar with the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia. No doubt he knew that the FARC possessed a, a genuine hatred for the United States. And I, and I think in many ways that's important uh, because Victor Boot also had a real hatred for the United States and what we stood for. Pretending to be FARC operatives strikes the DEA team as a perfect ruse. But the plan will require highly dangerous undercover work by the DEA agents and their informants. It's like a chess game on steroids. You can't say the wrong word. You can't say the wrong things. You better have your, your story down. If things get aggressive, you better be prepared to defend yourself. 